Please welcome him up, Pastor Manoj. <laughs> Yeah, as Satove mentioned, we were hoping that we, we could listen to Dr. Kim for 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock service. But somehow, uh, he had to go to Maryland for another program, and so he had to leave early. In fact, even for just for the one service we got him, that was kind of very, very, uh, we were so lucky to have him this morning. He came back from Korea last night, very late, 11 p.m. And then, until then, I was not able to communicate with him, even though he was scheduled to come here this morning. Then, um, around 11 p.m., I got his uh, text back saying that, okay, I'm here, I'll be there tomorrow morning. And he directly, he was attending, he was with the true mother last uh, whole week. There were very important programs happening happened in Korea, so he had to be there with uh, True Mother. Then we were very very lucky to hear directly from him, and uh, also I will send out his speech uh, probably by tomorrow, so you can uh, listen to him what he had to share from uh, True Mother with all of us. And uh, while I was. Yesterday I asked him what he want to, what is his message he want to give up, given to us. Then he told me his topic is forgive, love, and unite. And again he gave me his passage, uh, what he wanted to talk. That was John 3:16, which we listened right now. And then he he mentioned that this morning. Now. The things he he received from True Mother, he was so happy to share with us how much True Mother is investing uh, in into our church right after uh, even after the ascension of our True Father. True Mother initiated that Aloha reunion workshop, and uh, today uh, Dr. Kim asked uh, who among from New Jersey community attended that, and actually. Uh, Mathoba was uh, uh, attended, you all listened to his beautiful um, music offering by Mathoba. And if it was there this morning, it would have been so wonderful. Dr. Kim was kind of so happy and happily sharing about that. Then, again, he mentioned that um, True Mother is totally focusing on building up our church and taking care of each and every one of us. And we are for each and every one of us. We are here for everyone. And True Mother, that is the only thing True Mother is focusing right now. And here, when we, when we are able to, when our leaders are able to attend directly and listen to True Mother directly, then we are also blessed to have them when we are able to directly listen to them. And today, as he was talking on John 3.16 and today's uh, passage from Chon uh, Seung uh, he reminded us what was the greatest gift God could give given to us in, in Bible. Uh, actually, this Bible passage is considered as the most famous passage in the whole scriptures. For the God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believe, believes in him may not perish but may have eternal life. That is in John 3.16, the gospel writer given to us. It is because of the unconditional love, the unconditional care God has towards us, towards all the children. He gave us his beloved, the only begotten son, Jesus Christ, given to us. Then whoever believes in him will be able to have eternal life. They will never perish their life will never perish 
And that is the greatest promise given to us by, by God. And here, we are kind of fast forward 2000 years here in this, after 2000 years from Jesus' time, we are here right now. And what do we, what are we doing right now? What is our mission right now? Just us, just as Jesus came to this earth, as the Messiah at that time, as waiting for, and waiting for his spouse to come, right now in our time, we have that promise again. God given to us that promise. Our true parents are here. Here in today's uh, reading from Chan Sung we heard that when you look at, this is from directly from true father, when you look at the mirror every day when we wake up and we start our day, we should ask to ourselves how much our eyes, how much we are shedding tears for parents, for our true parents, how much we are longing to meet with them. 2000 years ago, with about Jesus, God said, I give you my son, the only begotten son. I give you because I love you. And then Christianity became the biggest religion. And again, back here, when we are here, we have to think how Christianity became that way. And when we, when uh, John, even though gospel writer said that kind of words, still we know that that time Rome, the greatest emperor of the world, the greatest uh, empire of the world, they did not accept Christianity. Christianity was severely persecuting, persecuted. They could not, they were nowhere. They were a handful of small, kind of very a tiny movement that time, even though they were chosen by God, even, even though they were following the begotten Son of God, they were a small number of people who could not even gather in public. They, could, they had to gather in hidden um, homes or in, they, they could not gather in public. But they believed the people who followed Jesus, his followers like people like John, Peter, and everyone who followed Jesus, they, they were convinced that this person on this earth to give us life, to give us eternal life, if I follow him, I will have eternal life. That was their conviction. That's why when they went, went ahead with that conviction, in 400 years, they could change the history. Instead of being a small organization, a small group of people being, being persecuted by, by the government or by other people, by the whole society, they, they were able to change things upside down. After 400 years, Christianity became the state religion of Rome. The Emperor Constantine announced this Christianity as the state religion of Rome. Because of the conviction, because of the, the faith and conviction and belief they had, that early Christians had. Today, as we, were, we are gathering here, we are in a special time now. Dr. Kim was specifically talking about that this morning. We are, we, we as uh, our movement, this uh, church started almost 50 years back, like 60 years back. From now we are in a phase where so many new generate new people joining with us. Our, uh, our children who born into this church, born into this organization, second gen children and third generation children, who are the children of people who joined into this church are taking leadership now. And they are kind of expanding our and opening new horizons for our church. And now this time, we are, when we are fast expanding, 
We need to think, what is that expansion? That expansion is, we are understanding, we are believing that this is, we are for everyone. Today's, that song was talking about that. We are here for everyone. And that includes not only the people who are sitting here, for the whole humanity. Jesus came to this earth as a savior sent by God, as the only begotten of God, who came to give salvation to the people of that time, as well as the people who ever lived on this earth, and also the people ever going to live on this earth. And same like that, now here again, when true parents are here in this completed testament uh, age, where Messiah standing on this earth as a complete form of Messiah, they are giving salvation to people who ever in ever born into this world and even pass on to the spirit world. And people who are seven billion people who are on this earth right now and all the people who are going to come to this earth. Everyone is going to receive that salvation through our true parents. And only if we have that conviction saying that Messiahs, true parents, Reverend and Mrs. Moon, they are our Messiahs. They are the ones giving us salvation. They are the ones giving us new life. Father Moon and Mother Moon standing together, they are giving us salvation. And if we are only when we are convinced about that and then we are ready to march forward towards God, towards that complete, completely receiving God in our life, we will be then only we will be able to establish that heavenly kingdom for everyone. Otherwise, if we... This is about having that realization, having that understanding and becoming that embodiment of that understanding in our life. And then only that can happen. And that's, that is happening now when our second generation, third generation and our new members coming in is taking ownership in that way. And true parents are so happy. God is so happy. God feels really proud of being a part of that. God is being kind of see, really seeing promise on this from the humanity. When, when we, but sometimes we can, because we, we, in our life, we believe in a Messiah, we believe in Jesus, but we could not, that was only one person, only a human, only a male figure was there. That's why we can't, can't, sometimes we can get confused by understanding that Messiah means only a male figure. No, it is not. When at this time, especially while our true father was in, is in spirit world and true mother, mother is on physical world, we can get confused that Messiah is in spirit world. And Messiah is already gone. No. Messiah is still on this physical world. True mother is the Messiah. True father and true mother together, they are Messiahs. Only if we understand that, that is the key in our salvation. Only if we understand that, we can really, really inherit. We can really, really have that eternal life by becoming one with our true parents. And many times, people can very, very easily get misunderstood in that point. And that's what um, uh, Dr. Kim was so much emphasizing this morning. That is the key. Be one with our true mother. Absolutely follow our true mother. When true mother say us something, give us some direction, there is no, no point of asking or no point of doubting, oh, somebody said that way. And it's, but the Messiah is supposed to be a male figure. No. Once, when Messiah say that, when our true parents say something, 
we are here to follow them we are here to understand them then only we will be able to have the eternal life in our life otherwise we are we are standing in between we are like the lukewarm people who are, who don't know oh, let me see for a while is it how is it going to be then i will decide what i will do no there is there is no place when we are that when we are in a lukewarm position when we are neither there nor here we can't be like that we have to follow we have to understand what is messiahship messiahship is is the uh, jesus came as the second adam what was second adam and eve when adam and eve because adam and eve could not fulfill their mission jesus had to come and then but second eve could not be there that time that's why messiah had to come second time that's why they are together they are not separate they are not you can't see them separate only if you see them together we can have that eternal life and only that's the only way we we someday see oh in principle one one time i was talking uh with uh, not only one person so many uh, some uh, one one group of people they told me that uh, in korean culture when uh, when father passed away father ascend to uh, earth uh, ascend to spirit world a son is supposed to inherit and mother is not not supposed to talk anything mother is supposed to just uh, uh, be aside then let the son uh, inherit everything that's korean culture that's true maybe in korean culture may be true and uh, maybe we may have some korean members also here but to be clear korean culture is not the messiah's culture and sometimes we have when the korean culture we see many times with our eyes that's not even the original korean culture the korean everywhere every, sometimes we say that culture is good this culture is bad but everywhere all culture all throughout the world everywhere the original culture is always good the original american culture that's actually absolutely that's god's culture the original korean culture that is god's culture the original japanese culture that is god's culture that is true parents culture but we don't see that in our present world that's why messiah had to come that's why god had to send his begotten son to recreate that when you cannot compare that with the present one culture saying that oh in that culture it's happening this way and this culture in happening this way it's not about a culture and also you cannot compare something the messiah that the messiahs you cannot compare with another people even one uh, before true father ascended father said there is only one messiah there is no other only one i mean like uh, only there is jesus was there then father true parents came as the second coming of jesus and then there is there is no no somebody is come okay i am inheriting that messiahship i am going to continue then people fighting each other no 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 i am the one really right one and i know in uh, many times it happens in families but our messiah's family that's not even not nobody can inherit that it is only only our two parents has that role for two parents are for eternity nobody else can replace that and we have to understand when we receive them in our heart we become one with true parents and that's the way we are receiving salvation not through anything else and i know um, sometimes when you study history you can see that uh, many times when uh, when when a king passed away then their children start fighting each other who should inherit and things like that it's we cannot compare with that situation with the messiah that's totally different messiah is the anointed son of god and the only begotten of god where one true husband and true wife 
standing together to give life to all the entire other people. Everyone else have to go through them to reach to God to receive that eternal life. And that is Messiah. No one can compare them with the, any other living human being or any other human being passed away except with Jesus, except with the Adam and Eve who were before fall. And that has to be very, very clear. When you receive, sometimes like somebody said that, oh, okay, this is in, happened that way, this way, don't ever even get into an argument or get into a discussion with that. You are convinced this is what we receive in, in principle. This is absolute truth. Sometimes this is, today Dr. Kim was so clear about that. And sometimes like we are hesitant to talk like that. But I feel we have to understand that. That is the absolute truth. If we don't understand that, we cannot be, we cannot be wishy-washy. We are clear. And then only we can really go forward with the Messiah. And then only we can give another, we can bring another person. Invite a person and say that, hey, my friend, I witnessed to this. I, I went through a deep, deep realization in my life. I went through a deep transformation in my life. I'm a new person. Do you want to enjoy that life? Do you want to understand what is that life? And only we go through that, we can do that. Only if we have that, only if we have that conviction, we can give that, pass that conviction to other person. The reason why Rome was able to uh, under, accept Christianity as the state religion just because of the conviction the people had that time. Here, we are also in a similar situation now. We are also, we can be, we are very, very easily comparable to that situation. Right now, we, um, we are very small and we can easily think that, oh, people cannot understand us. If we talk about this kind of truth, many people don't understand. And last week, while I was reading a, a guidance from True Mother, True Mother said that, don't worry about big organizations or big, um, big countries or anything like that. Just believe in principle and believe in the promise of God. Believe in the uh, support of two parents, then everything will be over. Maybe it may take another 400 years, but the truth is truth. And then only, only if the truth prevails, we can come back one by one. We can engraft to that truth, engraft to that lineage of the Messiah, engraft to that lineage of God. Otherwise, we cannot sustain. And also, Bishop Kim today talked about um, True Mother is even though we have very, very strict standard, True Mother is opening our blessing unconditionally to everyone. And today, uh, specifically, Dr. Kim mentioned about Junjinim's blessing and Yojinim's blessing. And that blessings were mentioned about their uh, uh, newly matched couples, uh, Ian and Joe. And they were going through a 40-day workshop in Chombium with True Mother. And by this also, after they went through that divine principle understanding, an understanding of who Messiahs are, who True Parents are, they were able to receive that blessing from True Parents. And this is absolutely keeping that. This is about, about really, it is not about cutting off anyone, but about everyone understand that who Messiah are, who true parents are, then that blessing is open to everyone. The seven point some billion people on, on this earth, as well as many, many millions of people on, on the spirit world, as well as people who are going to come in our lineage, in our future, they are all have to understand that. Then, then only we can truly really say that, 
this we are creating heavenly kingdom where each and every one of us can live a happy life we where each and every one of us can really truly bless other people truly give true life to other people otherwise like uh, if we are kind of, oh, I don't believe that part, I don't believe this part. So when, when we are, we can let us really convince ourselves and give that conviction, that pass that conviction, pass that realization to other people. And we know uh, this coming weekend, we are this Saturday, we are having a big program in Manhattan Center. We are pay, paying our respect. We are paying our tributes to our true father who gave us this life. And think about how much we would, what we would do if true father was coming here. We would be without anyone saying anything. We would be rallying for that. We will be kind of totally going and happily doing that, uh, participating that program. But sometimes like um, we may think nowadays, uh, Oh, I don't need to go there because I can listen to that uh, through a video. Maybe later I will get a video. But how much, like, just as this today's passage was saying that, how much we should be longing to support true parents? How much we should be longing to give as much as we can to true parents? And only if we, we are, this program we are doing, just as a country, we are going there and giving our respect to true parents and particularly a memorial service for true father who given us this life and we are enjoying this life just because of true father and true parents otherwise we wouldn't be able to be here and we wouldn't be able to enjoy this amazing life they have given to us and on that day on that i i truly want to request you the greatest support, the greatest way we can give our, show our support and show our conviction to True Mother is to be there and tell True Mother that, True Mother, we are not confused. True parents, we are not confused. We are totally enjoying the life you have given to us. We are totally understand what you have given to us. It's a new life and with that, new life we want to come here together we want to celebrate together so that anybody coming to that program can see what is a true life with true parents what are we enjoying with true parents with god let us be an example let, let us give that promise let us give some promise to our tr uh, true parents and here i want to encourage all of you on this coming weekend, that regardless of a, any, even a young child or everyone sitting here, let us go there this coming week and let us be truly, truly unite with True Mother without any doubt so that we can totally show our, our total conviction to True Parents as well as total conviction to everyone who is going to attend or not attending and we can really, we can go through a transformational um, experience by attending that. And today, uh, on this day, that's what uh, even Bishop Kim also kind of really telling us, be, be a champion for true parents and be a champion for true mother who is leading us right now so that we can really be a champion for the world, so that we can really give life to the world. Otherwise, if we are not able to have that eternal life in our own life, we cannot pass that on to other people. So on this week, I want to encourage you to really, really proclaim that truth to everyone and invite everyone to attend this program on this weekend. And this is, we are, we are celebrating together with our two parents. We are we are really showing our tribute, our respect to true parents. So please attend that program and same time remember this, this is the being one with true parents is the eternal life. We will never perish once we are together with, uh, artistically together with the true parents. And thank you so much for attending this day. Uh, may God bless you.